All right, so this video is going to be answering some questions about a PID instruction or PID E instruction, uh, whereof you want to actually scale your output, right? So your output's linked to like say a four to twenty signal, um, or say it's a zero to ten, whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, and again, this can be used this way, but is not limited to or to be subject to, to this is written in stone to be done like this. Uh, it's just an option as programming is that you can do. So what we're going to do, you can see our system right here. It's uh, currently uh, in the process right now. It's actually not actually controlling, um, but that's just because we have the system off right now. So again, when it comes on to it, if I hit the start button, actually it says it is running. So let's go ahead real quick though while this thing is, is not controlling and let's go in here to what we're, what we're looking for is the scale okay so we're going to go to scale and we're going to put this on the back side of the cv and again uh, the cv being the control variable right you can give the scale a name if you want to um, you can name it whatever you want to i'm just going to give it that same name and then we'll have this linked through here so uh, at this point you can have your output tag whatever you want your output tag to be say this is your 4 to 20 out let's just say this right here this would be your 4 to 20 out so uh, valve output this as an example right so it's going to be a real um, and then we're going to keep that so the scale what's important about the scale is uh, PID works from a 0 to 100 right so let's look at this so we have our in raw max which is going to be uh, again a PID works off of 0 to 100 right the minimum is going to be 0 now in the engineering units right here we're going to put the max at 20 because we want in this case we're going to show an example of a 0 to our uh, 4 to 20 so 4 to 20 milliamps okay so 4 to 20 and then we're going to hit apply it's just that simple so now when i hit accept a four should be on the back side of here because right now my cv is at zero okay so as soon as i hit accept right here you see i do have a value of four and that is giving me again the scaled value to the actual you know four to 20 milliamp card if you would if you link that to a card and this is actually a similar or an emulated process so i don't actually have a card to show you but that would be one instance of how to do that again um if we let's see took this out and put this in manual control let it get out and let's see the process stopped let's see let's see if we can't get this get, get this process working again actually might be because I'm not in my jump to over here let's close this let's jump this out right here to make sure that the process will work and let's show how this works just so you can see the the 4 to 20 working so now we're gonna throw this thing back in auto all right so we should be starting to respond our valve is opening because our, our control variable is opening and now we can see that our control variable is working off that 4 to 20 milliamp signal that we're controlling that we're sending to our valve output okay so again this is not something that is written in stone of a way you have to do it but it is an alternative to something you can do uh, you can also control directly off of your pide um, this is very common so I just wanted to give you a couple different instances because when it comes down to it, people do have questions around this, surrounding what you know they can do, what's a potential, you know, what are different things that you know maybe can aid in their their process because every process is different, right? We're all working in different environments and we're all working in different things. We're all doing different things as far as our p controlling PIDs, controlling different. You know working in uh, machines and 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 then processes and stuff like that so just wanted to give you another instance of that so you can see uh 32 is what we have on, for our cv right now and we ended up with around nine a uh, nine milliamps that we're sending out so again that's based upon the scaling that we have right here you can see that the scaling is right here in 
and that's based on the zero or 100 to zero that we put in for our max, our, our raw max and our raw min, based upon our engineering units that we put in for our four to 20, as far as the 20 being the max and, and minimum being or four. So right now it's controlling and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's actually hitting its set point at 60, and we can put a offset in here. Let's just say we put an offset in there real quick. Now this is a lead lag. What I'm doing is simulating the process as a process would be simulated. So I'm creating a lead lag and I'm doing a process upset right now. So you can see that I've changed the variable by a six. And what I'm doing here is showing you that the, the actual scale will actually go down. So right now the control variable is going down. And what's happening is you can see the four to 20 output is going down as well. Again, I don't have this tied to real world outputs. I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to potentially do this. So actually let's let that settle out. So that should be getting to the point where it will settle out in just a second because I have my dead time here, my lead lag, and I'm actually controlling that in a pretty, um, well, in, in, a, in a process where it, you know, it shows that, right? So um, it's, it, it creates a lead lag as if a real PID would be, or, or a real process would be in place, right? So with this said, we're coming in, we have our process loop at 70. Okay, so let's put this back at zero and this should shoot up our CV, which our CV should go higher. And our CV is going higher at this point. You can see that right here. And then what's going into our scale is coming out and scaling that four to 20 milliamp signal. Again, you can change this to uh, zero to 10 if you were using zero to 10 like uh, volts DC or something like that, we could do that as well. Um, this is one alternative. Please, you know, just help use this as an eye-opening opportunity to something you can do, uh, but not limited to what you can do because in programming you can do many, many different things to, you know, have control your your processes, right? When, and I don't want to limit you, but at the same time I want to open your eyes on things you can do, easy solutions that will help you and aid you in the future. With that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.